yesterday was Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day, um, Mother's Day. Uh, we are sensitive here at the Ben Shapiro Show, and we don't want to offend gay couples or non cisgender couples or mothers who are men or uh, or I don't know uh, other other Mowgli's family. I don't know. We don't want to we don't want to offend anyone. So it was Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day. Uh, second Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day will be happening in about uh, a month here. I think it's like June 18th. The second Legal Guardian of, uh, Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day uh, is June 18th. Um, but um, to celebrate Mother's Day, uh, there, Cecile Richards came out of the woodwork. Cecile Richards uh, is, of course, the head of Planned Parenthood, and she's also uh, a crazy pro-abortion fanatic. So here is what she tweeted with no sense of irony. Quote, nothing says I love you, Mom, like standing up for the right of mothers everywhere to get the care they need. Cecile Richards is the head of an abortion mill on Mother's Day. See, on Mother's Day might be a good time for Cecile Richards to shut up. Like, don't remind people of the killing of the babies on Mother's Day. Like, that's just a bad look. So as I tweeted back at her, nothing says I love you, Mom, like a child you didn't abort. Right? Because the kid can actually say I love you, Mom. <laughs> but it's, it is amazing. Uh, there, there were a couple tweets yesterday. About, I, I tweeted about this in, uh, a little bit yesterday. I said, uh, happy Mother's Day to my wife, a victim of the patriarchy and wonderful mothers of our two children. There were women who were tweeting out yesterday that Mother's Day is just terrible because it makes women into breeders. It makes them into baby machines. Sorry to break this to you, ladies, but part of your biology is being a baby machine. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, to, sorry to break it to you. Like, there are other wonderful things that women do, but you have an amazing superpower called being able to have another child come out of you, which is an unbelievable thing. And this sort of attempt by the left to turn that into the least of the things that women do. No, it's the most of the things that women do because humanity disappears if you don't do it. Okay, like of all the things that human beings do on the planet, bearing and rearing children is the most important thing. And it's odd to me that this is even mildly controversial. Like, my wife is a doctor. She has one of the most important jobs you can have. She helps save people's lives every day, right? She has patients every day she talks to. She helps. She tries to save their lives. She tries to make their lives better. And you ask her, what is the most important thing that she does? And she says, have our kids and take care of them, right? And that's, that's not because she's a victim of the patriarchy. It's because she actually cares about the next generation. She cares about our children. The attempt to demean what motherhood is by the left is really one of the most disgusting things that the left does. Uh, and the fact that they've turned... Women into this attempt to say that we need what we really need is we need paid child care so that mothers can spend more time at work. I don't want a mother who doesn't want to to spend more time at work. It's one thing if the mom wants to spend time at work. That's one thing. But then you make arrangements with your husband. Like my wife works longer hours than I do at this point. So I spend more time with our kids right now than, than she does. When she's done with her residency, presumably she will work part time and then she will spend more time with the kids than I do. But that shifts over time. But that's a different thing. That's because we have a great marriage and we work that out between ourselves. But the idea from the left is that you're actually a bad person. You're doing bad things. If you spend more time on your kids, there was a tweet from from Vox yesterday that said something to the effect of your mom spends nine, your mom spent wasted 90 minutes a day on you when you were growing up. Say thank you. Wasted, wasted 90 minutes a day. I would I would venture to say that most mothers feel they wasted much more time at work than they wasted at home with their kids. I mean, name the name the mother, you know, not to get dark here, but name name the person, the, the father or the mother who on their deathbed thinks back and says, God, I really wish that I had spent more time looking at those accounts receivable. I mean, no one does that. But every person says on their deathbed, I wish I had had more time to spend with my kids. So this idea that we have to demean parenthood in order to establish equality is just stupidity.